Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Okay, so we've got a couple of things going on right now. We've got the Hero's Path just kicked in. Actually, kind of decent in terms of how you score points here. So it's it's gaining yourself artifacts or it's summoning. Obviously, if you are going to be doing this fusion, Hero's Paths could be really strong in terms of getting souls. Uh, we'll find out how, how difficult they've made this one, but... If you're doing this fusion, a soul makes a massive amount of difference. I've spoken about that before. And alongside it, it's a summon event hero's path. We've got some progressive chance stuff going on as well. So we've got Newt, probably the best PvE legendary in the game, I would say. Like above a Krizia. I use two. I use them in most content now. So Newt is up there as the best. Wallmaster is also extremely good for Hydra because of this enemy max HP AoE um, and self buffs. Really, really good. Another AoE on the A1. Uh, so it can be good for the sets that kind of apply stuff like the curse set as that as well. But generally, really strong. Hefrak, good nuker for Arena. Nishak, great nuker for Arena. Especially good because Stone Skin is so popular right now. One of the best bomb champions in the game. Mountain King's kind of dead. At the moment, I would say. Some people might agree with me, uh, disagree with me. In terms of epics, Geomancer, probably the best epic in the game, I think. Up there, certainly for boss killing, uh, best epic in the game. Phoenix, maybe the best epic to empower in the game. <laughs> if you've got like a plus four one, he's absolutely insane with his A1, can do some crazy stuff. But uh, so yeah, they put a, a bunch of good champs in the progressive chance if you're doing the hero's path. So. Um, that's well worth knowing from a void perspective here i might be buying some void shards i'm not gonna lie not gonna lie this is what they do they do it pretty damn well oh man liasu here is kind of kind of dirty how strong he is so double hit a1 places an extra hit if they're under any buff places two extra hits if the target's under a buff and is from undead this hits extreme fact let me get the the website up quickly just to give you guys a feel for this guy um so we have for every single hero in the game why am we not finding that am i spelling that wrong lay asu weird uh we have spelt it wrong that's why <laughs> uh, okay i'll get that fixed so yeah i mean we rated him 4.5 out of 5 and sort of generally pretty nutty godlike hitter on his a1 for the arena, he's the 37th best arena hitter for this type of content. We have got godlike damage on the A2, godlike damage on the A3. And honestly, if you're seeing anything sub 100 in these numbers, it's kind of mental how hard this guy's hitting. That's that's where you're at nowadays, bearing in mind the amount of different champs in the game, the amount of different abilities. This is rated by ability. This guy is kind of nuts. So, yeah. Anyway, we've got the double hitter here, extra hit if they're under buffs, double extra hit if they're undead. A2, double hitter, before each hit, destroys the target's max HP up to 50%. It's actually pretty damn solid for live arena. The damage inflicted by the skill is increased by 10% for each buff and debuff on the target, up to 100% more damage, and it's a block revive skill. This is like a live arena crazy skill, honestly. And then we've got the A3, Double hitter, ignoring defense, ignoring stone skin, shield, and strengthen. So this is basically like um, the Mad Hatter guy, the, the Mad Georgid. It's a bit like Georgid. Can kill stone skin, and he's ignoring defense. He's basically ignoring the meta, he's ignoring net crit, and by the way, if you've got defense, he's ignoring that as well. This skill should kill anyone if you built him well. And then his passive here, Whenever this champion attacks, all enemies except the initial target receive damage equal to 25% of the damage dealt to the initial target. He becomes a Hydra beast with this passive. The extra damage ignores 100% of the target's defense, uh, but won't be a crit. So if you do surplus damage with stuff like this, you've got a good chance of, of doing pure, well, you basically do pure damage to everyone else, which could just lay down a whole team. So... He eats daggers for breakfast, and yeah, I am going to be going for this guy. Acrisia is basically a Hydra monster as well. She's fallen, she's fallen out of the meta, but she might be coming back with all of the changes happening. 
Kemptum's really good. Bor is kind of good for Hydra. I would probably pick the Kemptum out of those two. So I've got seven here. Probably by tomorrow there's going to be more. <sighs> they got me. But anyway, good progressive chance. Chance. I don't think there's anything different here. No. So again, pick what you need for your accounts and that type of stuff. But yeah, let's have a look then at this hero's path. So we have got, let's have a look here. No keys to start with. We need one key to be going down into, is this just fragments? Oh, okay, it's fragments in here. Oh, okay, they've not done this. I don't know if they've done this before. So you've got one, two, three, four rows where you need keys in each. Damn, I mean, there's so many keys here. One, two, three, four keys you need, which basically means you've got to go all the way down one of the sides to get to three, and then down to here to get to your fourth key or here, both the same cost. And that will get you your fragments if you're doing the fusion. And then after that, the soul is down a completely different track. Ah, oh, this feels pretty dirty, doesn't it? It's like Raid. Raid are on fire right now for trying to piss people off, honestly. That feels a kind of bit dirty. I guess let's just see what the points drawing looks like. Okay, done some math here. So to get the keys you need to start unlocking the fragments is 44,500 points. So that's going down the left-hand side here, picking up these two, then coming back down the right-hand side and picking up one of these. Gives you enough keys to go down and then to unlock all of the fragments is 56,500 points. To then get the soul, you've got to do both of these keys and these two down here, which means you've got to do all the right-hand side, then come down to eventually do that. So I'm, I'm looking at this board without the 220s at the bottom and I'm working it out at 138,000 points. So let's see what sort of scoring we get here. So let's do first to just get the fragments you need, which would be 56,500, I believe, if I worked it out right. So if you're doing that just with sacreds, you would need to use 12 sacreds. Let's bear in mind, like a normal summon rush or champion chase event for a fusion it's normally like five or six sacreds double double if you just use shards to do this there is ways to get uh, other points through doing item grabbing which you're going to be doing for the fusion anyway so don't discount that i think you're probably going to rack up let's call it at least ten thousand points over a weekend doing fusiony stuff i think so but even so you know, even if we were calling it 45,000, let's say you do a lot of artifact grabbing. Well, there you go. It's 10 sacreds. It's a lot. It's a ton, actually. Uh, is it, are we better off than this one doing void? Let's have a look. So if it was just void shards here, divide that by 750. It's like 75 void shards. Crikey, this is ridiculous, isn't it? This is absolutely insane that they put the fragments in there. If you want to get the soul... 138,000. So if you were using sacreds, if you want to get the fragments and the soul, 31 sacreds. If you want to get the fragments and the soul, that is going to be 184 voids. Raid Shadow Legends, what on earth are you doing this week? What on earth are you doing this week? I know a lot of people are not doing this fusion, so there's a lot of whatever, I don't care. But if I was, let's say this was a fusion and I was like, we need to do this, you know, and I do. Sometimes they're like, these fusions sometimes are game changers. This one's decent, but not so much a game changer. But, you know, if I was like, right, let's see what we've got to do today, guys. The people that are doing it, I mean, okay, you might drop off this five star and just go for the four. But it's still an insane amount of stuff you need to do. Raider off their rocker with this one. Ah oh, man, they're having a poor old week. I call it call it out. Raid, you're having a terrible week. Terrible week. The deck of fate. Shocking. Shocking inflation of required stuff. The hero's path. Shocking requirement of stuff when you're putting the fragments in here. It's crazy. If you want to go high like this, just put the salt like put the souls in. Don't mix the fusion up into this. Is this I, I guess I've not been what let me just check, actually. I might be speaking out of turn because this could just be all extra. I've not been monitoring the fusion because I'm just not doing this one. Um, let me just check the point store in here for the fusion and make sure that I'm not speaking a bit out of turn. No, the hero's path, isn't it? 
Hero's Path is in it as the like normal scoring. It's not like an additional. That's what I was checking. Like, is it a full additional point score? But no, if you didn't do the Hero's Path, there's only 90 available, right? Apart from winning tournaments, which you can't ever count on. It depends who you're up against. Damn. Shocking. Shocking, Ray Cheddar Legends. Sort yourselves out.